There are a ton of different ways to find a jump shot on NBA 2K25. I mean, you could literally ask one of your friends, you can go on YouTube, you could go on TikTok, maybe even you go on Twitter. But today I wanna try something a little bit different. You guys read the title, you saw the thumbnail, there is a reason you clicked on the video. I wanna see if AI could craft me one of the best jump shots on NBA 2K25. And I mean like all 2K talk aside, we already know how powerful AI has gotten over the past couple years. And I really, you know, wanted to wait a little bit before I actually try and, you know, maybe hit up ChatGBT or hit up Grok and see if we can get a jump shot on NBA 2K25. So that's what we're gonna do today. All I can ask from you guys is just to hit that subscribe button. We are on the way to 50K subs. Hit that post notification bell and drop a like while you're down there. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. So today we're gonna do it a little bit differently. A lot of people use ChatGBT, you know, open AI, regular AI chatbot to try and find a jump shot on 2K25. But today I'm gonna be trying Twitter's chatbot, which is called Grok, a little bit more intelligent version than the free version of chat gbt so grok it says ask anything what is the best jump shot on nba 2k25 we could just do that and see what it comes up with i mean we got a couple search results okay so it's actually giving us in-depth answers i mean we got for smaller guards for mid-sized builds and for larger builds i mean we got five seven all the way to seven three and then these suggestions are based on current meta and player feedback from sources like reddit youtube and twitter posts the best jump shots can also depend on personal comfort with timing and visual cues so some experimentation might be needed to find out what works best for your playstyle. So, I mean, obviously we're gonna be doing the smaller guard jump shot. As you can see, four smaller guards, it shows five, seven to six foot four, which is, you know, correct for NBA 2K25. I'm surprised that they got that right. Cameron Thomas base, Colin Sexton upper, and Seth Curry upper release two. This jump shot is noted for its speed and effectiveness and getting shots off quickly. And I'm not gonna lie, if you guys wanna try those mid-size and larger build jump shots and wanna let me know down in the comment section how they are, I mean, feel free to, I would be very, open to seeing how those work but grok i appreciate you for giving me this jump shot i mean we could go ahead and you know put this in the jump shot creator and go ahead and go to the proving grounds it's actually crazy because i tried to do this last year and chat gbt just could not give me a jump shot but it looks like you know twitter's ai chatbot or x you know maybe you guys are gonna flame me down in the comments for that grok actually gave us you know a couple suggestions of actual jump shots i mean they might be a smart you know little chat gbt ai bot we need cameron thomas if i could find it right here upper release one is gonna be colin sexton if we could find that i mean i definitely like the colin sexton upper that is gonna be good for business and then upper release two is going to be seth curry i mean this is a jump shot that i feel like i would give you guys honestly like if i were to put a jump shot video together maybe someone didn't want oscar robertson upper releases colin saxon and seth curry might be the move here obviously they didn't give us any visual cue or release speed so i'm just gonna go release release speed three fours because this is just what i use and then colin saxon is going to be at 65 percent i mean look at this jump shot we got an a plus release height b defensive immunity a maxed out a plus release speed with a c plus timing stability this jump shot low-key has potential and I also noted before that I've seen other jump shots in there for other height based builds. I might have to spin back and do a part two on this video. I mean, we're just gonna have to see, but this is the jump shot. Hopefully it does us justice. So the build that we will be taking to the proving grounds today is my 6-4 ISO guard build. You guys have seen this build plenty of times. We got a 75 driving layup, 87 driving dunk. We got 93 mid range with an 85 three point shot, a 92 ball handle, 86 speed with ball with an 81 interior, 92 perimeter, 79 steel, 68 block, 76 O board, 80 defensive rebound and a 93 strength. I mean, this build is going to treat us right with this little AI jump shot. But as I said, we are going to be trying this jump shot out in the proving grounds just because the 1v1 court right now is true shot, which, you know, that's real player percentage. I literally covered a video on that a couple days ago on Wednesday. If you guys didn't watch that video, I mean, y'all got to. That was a banger. So, I mean, we're just going to have to go back to the basics and go to the 1v1 proving grounds. Again, I mean, y'all just got to hit that subscribe button. We're giving the best content out here in NBA 2K25. I don't see why not. I, I mean, like the videos will pop up in your guys' sub box in the notifications. I mean, it doesn't hurt you. It's gonna benefit me. Let's just get to hitting that button. All right, so game one, we got ATG Glock, baby. He is a silver 1v1 ranked player, 6'6 six, six point guard, 95 overall with a 90 driving dunk and a 90 ball handle. The rest of the attributes are kind of irrelevant. I wish like the best attributes did not include like ball handle and speed with ball. I wish it just gave the basics like three point driving dunk, driving layup, things like that. But you know, I understand that it's, you know, statistically their highest stats, but this guy's low key moving. Okay, 6'6 six, six guard. I gotta realize that this guy is a little bit taller than me. He doesn't really have the SIGs, but the Grok chat GBT 
jump shot on this game. I mean, like low key, you know, we got to try it out. Hold on, fade and I took a midi fade, but that's cool. I mean, we could take midi fades every now and then. Obviously, I'm not going to shoot every single shot in the game because, you know, 2K25, you know what? We're in November, about to be in December, and we still can't shoot perfectly if we wanted to. So we got to take some twos every now and then. But when I'm open, you know, like this, and he's just not playing any defense, I mean, we might as well you know get a couple shots up but slightly late on the first shot you know we're gonna have to fix that i'm gonna be real okay this guy's low-key moving i could tell back in the day this guy was a standstill dribbler i mean the way he dribbles and i mean i have an open shot here hold on and why did it make me take a dribble pull up regardless i made it shout out to pro 2 dribble pull up i mean you literally cannot go wrong with it but that's not the point of what we're trying to do i'm not trying to shoot fades because i mean majority of the time fade timing's the same hold on zach levine my guy's not ready for it. And that's a midi. Like, I just don't want to take a midi. I understand I got a 93 mid range, right? I understand that. Trust me, guys. You guys are going to go in the comment section and say, yo, you got a 93 midi. Stop fucking complaining. But I'm not the type of guy to shoot mid ranges. I mean, you know this. I'm a three point shooter and a dunker. Middies, I got to be honest, they're not in my bag, but maybe one day they will. Oh, come on, ATG Glock, baby. I know where you want to go. And yeah, real player percentage on his layups. I mean, again, it's literally just an every game occurrence when you go into the proving grounds or the stage. I, like, I don't get it. Like, can we like remove that feature? Well, that's a topic for another video that we already did. All right, come on, ATG. All right, come on, ATG. And he's going to the rim. I'm jumping. And again, it just doesn't matter. I got interior on my build, but he could go to the rim, hold square and pray because that's literally all he needs to do. Okay, hold on. Let me play back a little bit because low-key, I'm just not going to watch rim running all game. That's not really what I want to sit here and do. Okay, and it's going to happen again. There we go. That's good defense. That's good defense right there. We got to understand that sometimes you just got to play good defense and quick stop corner. Like, I don't like the load up of this jump shot. That was green, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. I think it's the Seth Curry upper release because Colin Sexton, I mean, Colin Sexton is really good. I put that in a lot of my jump shots, but like the load up on this jump shot is not really it. And that was a lightly pressure. Hold on now, ATG. Hold on now, ATG. I'm a little slidey, I must admit. But it's cool. We're going to make it happen. That little step back. I mean, I like this step back, honestly. I'm going to have to start reading it because I mean, like this guy's bag obviously is deep, aka he got two, you know, moves. He got the little standstill dribbles and then he got the step back and then the rim running layup. You already know what this type of player is. And he got right through me and I got a block. I mean, like, just let him go up. Let him take the Contessa layup. I don't want to block because now I have to play eight more seconds of defense and pray that he doesn't just run right past me and hold square with real player percentage. I mean, you know how it gets already. Okay, one stop. Two seconds left. I'm putting my hands up and that's, you know, that's an open layup, but they actually didn't let him make it. I like that. I need to take some twos though, because low key, he's like playing my three a little bit. Actually, we could take a midi fade. Why not? I have no stamina. I have no stamina, bro. Like I literally play defense for 24 seconds and like, they're just not giving me any sort of stamina. I mean, I respect it, I guess. I respect it, but I gotta hit those midi fades. Are you green in that? Okay, that's a little too deep for you. And that was a lightly pressure. Like uh, the contest system still sucks on this game. I mean, like, I just wish I could get a proper contest and you know, it doesn't go in, but yeah, that was a lightly pressure and you still green that. All right, come on. Guarding a guy like this is kind of hard just because he's doing standstill moves to so, like, you kind of get stuck in momentum and there's the driving dunk. Should we just let him shoot? I feel like we should just low key let him shoot. I would be down to let him shoot. Let's do that. Play a little back. He did green, I think his last two threes. So like low key, he might miss his next one. I'm there. Okay, that's a bad shot. And I'm about to get badge. If I get badge, that's literally going to be perfect. Let me cross to the paint. And yeah, I mean, he got the best block animation in the game. I mean, they could have just given me the Malik Monk dunk, but no, they wanted to give him a block animation when I was close to the rim. I mean, like, are we dead ass? Part two, hold on, I gotta get that Malik Monk. There we go. Like, I'm tired of these block animations that people continuously get blessed with when I have an 87 dunk and I just wanna get on that rim, you know what I mean? Okay, hold on, wait, he's playing way too high. Jump, I'm going out to the corner. You know me, I am a corner god. And I mean, like, the jump shot, it's feeling a little weird, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I'm greening with it, I'm shooting 60% from three right now. But it's feeling a little weird. Cross the... Oh my god, wait. Steph Curry escape? Hey! Uh, I tried to do a crossover, but you know how it is already. When you try and do crossovers in this game, they just give you that Steph Curry escape, little L2 cancel thing. That's, you know, that's how they treat you. Hold on. Wait, he's giving me way too much space, and I don't know why, and I don't like it. And I missed. Okay, so I need to, like, pull this shot a little early. I honestly don't know why it's so fast. I mean, like, maybe I'm just used to using slower jump shots, especially since Patty... You know, is a little slower this year compared to other jump shots. Okay, ATG. Oh, is he done playing? 
Okay, never mind. He's back. He just needed his stamina. I mean, I completely understand it. When you play defense in this game and the possession turns around, your stamina is just cooked. I got takeover. Okay, he did make it. I was about to say, if he made that, I would have tweaked out. Green bean corner shot. I mean, I'm literally the CEO of corners. My player's doing a three point celebration when I literally don't have any animations on. I mean, that's fire. I gotta take some middies though, because I only got an 85-3. I gotta abuse this midi, and I mean, that's green. I did not expect that to go in, but we can end this game on a little self lob if he lets me. Let me try and find a lane real quick. Hold on. Let me run. Oh, yeah. There. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Please go in, please. No, I like how. Uh, why are the self lobs so inconsistent in this game? Hold on. There we go. I got it. I got it. Hey, oh my God. Now that animation was deadly, but that's game one. I mean, four for eight from three. Our first games, I don't know why, but we always, you know, shoot around 50%, 22 to 12, eight rebounds. I mean, we were hooping low key GG to ATG Glock, baby. This jump shot is going to get some taken used to, but we're going to be okay. I trust AI with my life, sort of. I mean, I got into a Tesla once and he turned on that autopilot and I got a little bit scared because the wheel was turning itself. But I mean, when it comes to, you know, computer computers and you know giving me a jump shot i think we could trust that a little bit more i'm curious you guys can answer this in the comment section down below if you want or not but like do you guys be using ai in your everyday life i mean obviously you know i don't want to get too federal here but i know there's a couple people that use ai for you know school homework whether that's essays or math or anything like that but like any you know daily activities you use ai for let me know down in the comment section because it's something that i'm you know genuinely interested in before we get into game two all right let's see who we got up next i mean the game one was a little bit of a flood we got dope fits the plug he's a 99 overall 66 guard 89 driving dunk and the rest of his stats are speed speed with ball and ball handle i mean this game he might just have a little bit of three point a little bit of midi and some defense and i'm already shaking ass are we serious nah there's no way i'm shaking ass already hold on dope fits not dope fits you're not going to that rim like that on me you just can't do that bro you just can't at the end of the day rim running on me is not the craziest option not the best option but definitely is an option, but my stamina is cooked because I just want to play defense for, you know, 18 seconds of the shot clock, and I don't know why I shot that. I'm gonna be so real with you guys. That was such an impulse shot. It was crazy. I low-key did not expect Dope Fits the Plug, capital G, to step up on me like that, but, you know, he gave me some space, and then he decided to close out randomly. I mean, I respect it. This guy's doing dribble emotes on me. Okay, we got a chill unk. We got a chill unk. Oh yeah, post me up. Post me up. I got strength on this build. I'm not no little baby. I'm not no little baby. Emotions is raw. And that's not out of bounds? What? He literally had a whole foot out of bounds and they didn't call it. But this build actually stops post scores. Well, I mean, he's not post score, but you know, people who try and drop step, it low key does stop them. Let me go ahead and take a little two real quick. You know, get right past him. Because I learned from last game, anyone can get blocks. All right, hold on. I want to take some more middies this game, low key. Like this guy's not really guarding the midi. Green bean. I just don't know the midi timing, and I also do not have midi hotspots, which if you guys know Proving Grounds, high risk, high reward. If you don't have hotspots, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. You are cooked. Like, it's literally so hard to shoot an actual, you know, shot and make it with no hotspots, but that was probably one of the craziest shots that I've seen in this game, and I've seen some pretty crazy shit when it comes to 2K25, and that, wow, that's crazy. Not nah, doing a whole self lob in that situation, in that position, is actually crazy. Okay, come on, dope fits. I know what you want to do, bro. I'm familiar with your game. You're going up with that, and I'm not going to jump. You thought I was going to jump there, but I've learned not to jump. Okay, that, is that my ball? Okay, I'm so lost. Is this my ball? Is it not my ball? Hey, are you guarding me? Are you closing out? You're not. And I missed? That was slightly early. I, you know, refuse to believe that. I'm going to be honest. Crossover. Oh my God, does this guy have like ankle assassin on Galaxy Opal? I mean, he has a 93 ball handle and he's already made me shake ass, touch earth twice. Like I, we can't be dead ass. Okay, hold on. I'm tired of this guy. Uh, and he's just doing like, just twirling around his right stick and it's working. Low key, I might have to get on that method. Cause a lot of people have been doing that recently. Like this guy has no clue what's going on. Okay, he figured out how to do the behind the back. We're moving and then stopping at three. And he made it. I mean, this guy might be the greatest player I've ever seen on NBA 2K25. He's not getting another shot. I'm going to be honest. I mean, like he could take another shot, like an attempt, but he's not greening another one. We got to be real. Oh yeah. And I didn't get a closeout in time and I got an auto contest. I thought we fixed that this game. I, I thought we fixed that in the last patch, the season three patch, but apparently not because I just got an auto contest there. That was not very ideal. Okay. 
Come on, shoot that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me the ball. Okay, we got to lock in against this guy. We definitely have to lock in. Green bean. Get it out the net. I mean, like 85 three point. That's literally all I need in this game. Maybe I could go a little bit lower. I definitely don't need any more. Oh, yeah. Zach Levine step back. I forgot. It's just so fast off the Zach Levine. And I went up with that. Well, that went in. I mean, like I might be one of the greatest players in the game because that was really not supposed to go in. That was my one time getting blessed. Hold on. Chat GBT jump shot. Please let me fade out the corner. Green Bean, I got to make that. Best corner fader on this game. I mean, there's definitely some notable people out there. We got Bullet TV. We might have Fantasy Season, but, you know, Ice Ninja, definitely going to be up there in the books. Hold on. And I'm trying to do a crossover, but you know how this game is. It won't let me. Hey, sometimes you just got to settle down and take your twos. I mean, you don't have to score threes every possession. If you watch one of my videos, you might think I'm lying about that just with the amount of threes I take. But sometimes you can sell that out and take that too, especially when you're playing someone who don't got a lot of interior defense, don't got a lot of block. You can really just run past them, you know, use your speed and get on that rim. Hold on. There we go, Zach Levine. I got to find the timing off the Zach Levine because Zach Levine step backing is basically equivalent to LeBron hot backing last year, which if you played 2K24, you know how OP that was. So it's even more OP this year. Hold on. Like, I'm confused on the defense he's playing because he's literally letting me get whatever I want. Green bean, we're using the mid-range. I mean, we just got to from time to time. We can't end the game on a two. I'm gonna just end the game on a jump, maybe. Oh, he didn't jump. Hold on, hesitation. And I'm gonna run all the way around him. Run all the way around, take a contested layup, and it's gonna go in. I mean, literally 2K25 in a nutshell. Just twirl your left stick around, hold square, and, you know, eventually it'll go in. But that was game two. We went three for six from three, nine from 13 from the field. We only took three threes, but at the same time, we were taking a little, you know, midi from time to time. Dope fits the plug. GG's to you, bro. I mean, 11 points. You could have done a little bit better, but it's all good at the end of the day. I'm not gonna lie. I have some faith for the other jump shots that, you know, Grok gave us when it came down to it because this jump shot, it's low key cooking. There's some minor adjustments that I'd make to it, but it's definitely a great base. And I mean, it said that it came from sources like Reddit, YouTube, and Twitter. So maybe this is, you know, a YouTuber's jump shot, maybe Boofix jump shot, who knows? But let's go ahead and get on to game three. All right, let's see who we got here for our final game. I mean, the first two games were going smooth. We got Pop Boogie 2X96 overall, starter three, silver ranked 1v1 player, 6'8", 94 standing dunk, 86 midi. So this guy might be a drop stepper, but at the same time, who knows he has a 92 perimeter and an 85 steal i'm going to have to be very cautious when i dribble the basketball this guy's fast low key and yep i mean this is what we're getting to already but little does he know that i'm not a baby i'm not on my 5'9 guard which everyone thinks i'm on i'm on a 6'4 with strength you're just not going to go up with that okay he doesn't have real player percentage on so we have a chance i mean you guys saw the very late in the bottom right let me just run crossover jump I mean, good boy. I got to say good boy to him for jumping. Pop Boogie, don't take that too seriously. You know, I appreciate you jumping. Hold on. Zach Levine. Oh my God. He thought I was going straight to the rim. But I, I get like, I just cannot shoot off the Zach Levine. I got to go to the my court. I got to get one of my boys. I might have to hit up JT2K. And I just got to spam Zach Levine's in a 1v1 because it's getting bad out here. I'm jumping. Again, I'm not a little boy in the paint. You just can't do that. Hold on. Quick stop, Green Bean, late contest? The contest doesn't matter. He could put a hand up seven years later and it's still gonna go in. I mean, you guys know the vibe already. I'm just going straight up with it. We're gonna make this game quick, short and simple. He's already cold. I mean, the two takes that he took were kind of outrageous, but we're here. Hold on, crossover. I gotta time it off the Zach Levine. I just have to. There we go. I mean, like I'm kind of understanding it. I gotta time it a little bit earlier and I'm already about to get badge. And you guys know when I get takeover, the game is over. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy quit. I mean, I'm hot. He's cold. We literally got some dynamic duo tension going on here. You know, fire and ice. Is this a fire and ice event? Hold on. This might be cold snap. Who knows? And this guy's playing hands up defense. When someone plays hands up defense, you literally run right through him and he cut off my rim run. He's literally just letting me shoot. Okay. I got to understand that he's letting me shoot. And my stamina's cooked. I literally got no stamina, but that's fine because we do one Zach Levine and we make it. I mean, I literally thought that was just going to bounce out of the rim, but you know, when it edges you around the rim, you know, it's going to be a good day. Hold on. Cross dunk. And that I actually might miss that. I made that. Yo, real player percentage might be disgusting on this game. I mean, like we literally covered that. But every day I use it, I feel like I'm getting better. Hold on. I got to take one more dunk. I got to. I got to. If he's going to. Oh, never mind. Corner shot. Corner quick stop. Green bean. 
It's so automatic. I mean, this is a perfect game for us to end off on. I appreciate AI for giving me a jump shot, bro. I gotta be honest. I mean, like AI is very useful to us in our present day, day-to-day -day lives. It gave me a jump shot that I just shot four for five from three with. Pop buggy, I'm sorry I had to do that to you. 22 zip. That's just how we gotta do it out here in the Proving Grounds with an AI jump shot. Hey, I'm telling you guys, you guys should try out the other jump shots that were in the beginning of the video because they might actually help you out. I mean, truly, I am impressed. If you guys wanna try out that jump shot for yourself, again, Cameron Thomas, Colin Sexton, Seth Curry, 65% Colin Sexton. You guys saw the jump shot at the start of the video. It treated me well. We went three and zero in the Proving Grounds. You know, I'll be honest, with Patty Mills, sometimes I be losing games. I mean, I, I gotta keep it 100 with you guys, but with this jump shot, we have 100% win rate, so maybe that's a sign i gotta start using ai for other things if you guys did enjoy the video man make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that post notification bell while you're down there you might as well drop a like and i hope you guys had a great day today and a great rest of your day i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one i'm out peace